Hi boys and girls. Uh, my name is Mrs. Southworth and I am going to be reading you a story today um, called S is for S'mores, a camping alphabet. We're going to take a trip through the alphabet um, looking through the eyes uh, of some different people who are out camping. Uh, this is written by Helen Foster James and illustrated by Lita Judge. Uh, and as we go through the pages, there's some writing on the side that goes into a lot of detail and description that I'm not going to read all through for you, but if you do get this story, I would recommend you read through that on your own. Uh, I do have a helper with me today. What's your name? Nico, and I'm gonna say the letters as she turns the page. Yeah, so help with the letters. Um, all right, here we go. S is for s'mores. All right. A. A. A is for adventure. Let's camp from A to Z. On mountains and deserts or beaches, if you want to have fun, follow me. I like to have fun, do you? B. B is for our beach camp with the water's edge nearby. We paddle, swim, and fish beneath a bright blue sky. C. C is for the canyons. A few as great as the grand, slowly carved by nature's knives of water, wind, and sea. For the desert, look carefully and see the many plants and animals that live here wild and free. E. E is for emergencies that happen anywhere, so just in case one does occur, we carefully prepare. F. F is for the foliage with changing looks in every season. Spring and summer, fall and winter. Would you like to know the reason? G. G is for the gear you'll need to organize and pack to keep your camping full of fun and bring you safely back. H is for the hikers, whose boots protect their feet while hiking on a rocky trail or through the desert's heat. I. I is for the insects, like butterflies and bees, or ladybugs and dragonflies and itty bitty fleas. J. J is for John and for Juliet. They both love nature and planned for people who camp in the great outdoors to protect and cherish this land. K. K is for our kitchen. It doesn't have a door nor roof or wall surround it and solid ground is its floor. L. L is for the lupine in patches near the trail with vibrant colored petals and a sweet and fragrant smell. M. M is for the mountains where bear cubs play and eagles soar, where campers hike so close to clouds and ask for nothing more. is for the night sky, far from the city's lights. Find Polaris pointing north and other famous sights. O. O is for the organizations that share and teach their skills to those of us who love to camp and hike among the hills. 
P. P is for the many parks. Let's pick a destination. Then pack our gear and go explore for a wonderful vacation. Q. Q is for quiet. Take time to listen. What's that you hear? A caw, a chirp, a little owl. Is it far away or near? R is for the rangers who teach us all to care for the beauty and the wildlife and all the land we share. S. S is for the stories and songs to share when the day is done. We enjoy our campfire's warmth and make yummy s'mores for some fun. Yum. T is for the tracks we find pressed upon the ground. Traces of our animal friends lie waiting to be found. U. U is for the underground, hidden burrows out of sight, dug by those who need a home, safe from harm both day and night. is for views and vistas of deserts and forest and sky with awe-inspiring beauty so pleasing to the eye. W. W is for camping in winter for those who are willing to go and follow a path through the forest of snowshoes or skis over snow. That looks like a snow tent. I don't know about that. is for two Xing trails. Now which way should we go? North or south? East or west? A trail map helps us know. And Xing is not really a, a word the way it's written, but like when two trails cross path. Can you show me an X with your arms? Xing. They go one trail goes this way and one goes that way. All right. Y is for the Yellowstone Park, where bison and moose freely roam, where Old Faithful spouts every hour and bears and elk make their home. Z. Z is for the zippers on your cozy bag and tent. Nested away, you'll fall asleep, dreaming of places you went. How peaceful. Sound asleep. The end. Well, there's a lot of great ideas in there of things we can do while we go camping. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.